Hey Cancers, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Thank you guys for joining me. For those who are new to my channel, I usually just dive right into the meditative session that I did. Tell you guys what I got. Uh, then we go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen. Then we go ahead and do the actual tarot reading, okay? Um, for those who are new to tarot or just energy work in general, you're not really sure what signs to watch or how to interpret what I'm saying to you or some of the terminology, I have a good little 101 crash course for newbies. It's called How to Interpret Tarot Readings as a Viewer. Check out the link below for that, okay? All right, Cancers, let's get in. Oh, by the way, I do have extra content on Patreon and Vimeo. It is not extended. They're not extended. They're different content. Go ahead and check it out. Okay. Cancers, okay, so let's get into the meditative session that I did. So I heard holy, and then I heard sacred space. Cancer, I feel like you're going to be... So first of all, there's a lot of intense energy in the month of January, and this is for the rest of 2019, but you guys know how energy works. It's not linear. Whenever you're like, I think I might have already said that, so I'm not going <laughs> to repeat that shit. But Cancer, a lot of you, I feel like this is going to resonate for you well into January, okay? Especially um, the next eclipse. We have the new moon eclipse on the 26th in Capricorn, but then on the 10th of January, we have the full moon eclipse, solar, lunar, 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 Jesus, where are my words? On the 10th of January, we have the full moon lunar, keep wanting to say solar, lunar eclipse in Cancer, okay? It's going to be intense. You're going to really be affected by that, okay? It's not a bad thing. It's a very positive thing, but I feel like you're going to really need your space this time space at this time um i do feel that it's you're doing a lot of meditation you're doing a lot of soul searching not external like within like you're not like going off on a soldier and like no it's very internal it's very internal um it feels very heavy it's a little bit of dark energy dark energy is not bad you're integrating okay cancer that's what i'm getting with that you're going to be integrating your shadow side or doing some shadow work it's going to be very necessary for you so just roll with it all right just roll with it okay some of you might not be expecting it so you might be feel really good and then all of a sudden you're going to get hit with this energy just roll with it okay um you are trying to figure out some uh, investment moves, and I feel like it's just investing in your path, to be honest with you. I don't, it could be money, it could be your career, but I feel like it's just in your path. That's part of being in, uh, yeah, they're telling me sacred space again, sacred space, sacred space. Um, fruit. Um, some of you haven't received the fruit from your labors in the way that you expected, and that's also part of what you're going to be thinking about contemplating in this I, I, they keep saying sacred space sacred sacred oh, they're really emphasizing sacred for you cancer if you don't have a sacred sp space <laughs> please make one okay please make one or go on a little adventure to a sacred site if you have to it's gonna be really vital for you okay you're gonna feel emotional it's okay just roll with it um and some of you are gonna be contemplating why you haven't received the fruits of your labor in the way that you expected others of you are gonna be planning new seeds Oh, all of you will eventually. Oh, okay, thank you. All of you will eventually be planting new seeds, when, especially towards the end of this process. Some of you actually, yeah, I'm already seeing the transition of your process. It's so interesting. You're going to start this process by thinking about what you didn't get and what you expected. You're going to go through a period of gratitude. Some of you might even feel a little bit of depressed energy with that. Again, just roll with it. When you're coming out of this process, you're going to feel really clear, really cleansed. You're going to feel really new, and you're going to be ready to plant new seeds and just cut your losses of what you think hasn't worked for you. Wow. Okay, Cancer. Let's go into the pre-shuffle. I know, really heavy. I know, I know, I know. But let's get into the pre-shuffle. I'm using Legacy Deck as the primary. Been drawn to that lately. Drawn back to it lately. Losing for any messages of truth, and love for those who need it. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Losing for any messages of truth, and love for those who... Some of you are going to be doing some major family work. Yeah, working on some um, healing family dynamics or even just healing your own wounds around family within yourself. Yeah, I feel like it's going to bring you well into January, this energy I'm picking up on. Um, and like I said, that full moon eclipse is, is in Cancer, the house of home and hearth. Um, even if you're a man, you're going to start feeling very maternal. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that's what they just told me. Uh, a lot of maternal energy is going to come up. Whether you're already a mother or not, or a parent or not, there's like there's a maternal nurturing energy energy that's going to be coming up within you, Cancer. Pay attention to it. Just pay attention to it. It's coming up for a reason. You might just need to nurture yourself. You know, it doesn't mean you have to do it, do that for other people. 
Please inform any messages of truth and love for those who need it for cancer. You're going to feel really sentimental. Oh, my God. You're going to be feeling really, really, really sentimental, cancer. You're going to feel a little sensitive. It's okay. It's okay. Please inform any messages of truth and love for those who need it for cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. You're going to be feeling really sentimental, and some of you are not going to appreciate how that's going to be received. Sorry, I just had to say that. Sun in reverse, Leo energy with the three of wands, Aries energy, and three of cups in reverse. Yeah, again, that fruit of the labor thing that I was sensing. You're not getting the fruits of the labor that you expected. You're standing there at the three of wands. You feel like you can't celebrate. You feel like you're not getting that abundance that you've been really, that's weird, counting on. Some of you have been counting on it, and it's not happening, and you're just like, what the fuck? Sorry, that went to anger really quickly. Oh, Cancer, watch the mood swings. I love you, Cancer, but geez, I can already feel it. Watch the mood swings, okay? Watch the mood swings. Um, some of you are also going to feel really stuck during this time when you're in your sacred space and in that process. Just go with the process here, okay, of understanding that maybe something didn't work out the way you expected or an investment didn't work out the way you expected and you're going to be planting new seeds you can you can see the new you know it's that right around the corner but you need this time to process so just process okay please bring forward hair font universe don't lose your faith along the way taurian energy some of you might feel that way especially for those who might suffer from depression depression might even creep in for you cancer so please keep that in mind um They're always with you, Cancer. I always call them spirit team. Everyone calls them their different things. Guides, angels. They're always with you. Don't lose your faith just yet. Don't, yeah, don't lose your faith just yet. This is going to be a tough process, but it's going to be very beneficial for you. Don't, be, don't become disconnected from your higher self. Oh, this is intense. Please, I'm not going to take that. That's too many. Please inform any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019, hearing February. Valentine's Day is going to be big for you. <laughs> that's weird. That's a weird channel. Like, they literally just showed me February 14th. Um, that's so weird. Valentine's Day is going to be unexpected for you this year. Okay. I don't know what that's about. Oh, yeah, Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Cancer, don't lose your faith here. Don't lose your faith. Stay grounded. Stay connected through this process. It's going to be a tough one, but that's why you need your sacred space. Whoa. Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the lovers. Gemini energy. Wheel of Fortune is also Jupiter and Judgment in reverse. Fire, also scorpionic energy. You're feeling like a connection that there's no, no way for a connection to grow or be accepted. It's there, though. That lover's energy, that is very much there. That energy is very much connected. But Wheel of Fortune in reverse and judgment sandwiching it, that's a lot of karmic energy surrounding it. It's weird. I'm almost going to like a bubble of karmic energy around a spiritual connection. It's almost like you feel like you can't really have this or like you can't go for it. You can. You got you to gotta go through your process, Cancer. Cancer, just go through your process. Don't lose your faith in the process, in your processing. Please do it. You're processing in a sacred space. This connection is here. It's very much here. It's not out of reach. It's not out of reach. You feel like it's dead. I don't think it is. Not with it being upright like that. I don't think it is. Oh, Cancer, this is like really heavy shit. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. For those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. Oh, no, I'm out of focus. Okay, there we go. Uh, these messages are very, very general, okay? So just know and understand that we read for thousands of people. And if it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't need to throw hate or shade. Please support those who do resonate with this message, okay? Don't try to make it fit either. You will know if it's your story. You'll know. We tend to get multiple messages for different people. So also keep that in mind when you're watching any YouTube reader that sometimes uh, one part of the message might not resonate, but the other part does. Just hold on to what resonates. Um, also, we are working with energy. So just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa. So the messages can pertain to you directly or it can pertain to someone in your environment or someone that you're connecting to. Okay, again, you'll know if it resonates. Please don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy and this is for the rest of 2019, but whenever you're gutted to watch reading, then you're gutted to watch it. Okay, Cancer, let's do this. Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Cancer 
regarding love for the rest of 2019. Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Cancer? Oh, that's too many. Too many, Spirit. Can I have lost cards, please? Any messages for Cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Cancer? <sighs> Any messages for Cancer regarding love? You're going to have moments of confusion in this processing, Cancer. Again, just try to keep your faith here. Keep your faith about you. They're telling me faith specifically. God, these cards want to talk so bad, but they're giving me almost too many. Any messages for Cancer? Regarding love for the rest of 20... There we go. Yep, there you go. Evaluating what to do. Evaluating your fruits of your labor. With that Seven of Pentacles, that's the epitome of this card. And again, I feel like you're doing both. Where you're looking at the investments you've made so far and the fruit that it didn't bear in the way you expected. But also, as you go through this process and come out the other side, you're ready to plant new seeds. You're ready to plant new seeds. But the fact that you're at the seven tells me that it's not like a complete, like, like it's not a complete, like, starting over from scratch, right? You're at the seven, right? You're not at the ace. You're not at the two. Not even at the three. Not even having to deal with, like, a whole lot of new people. You might be needing meeting new people. Oh, you will. You'll be meeting new people along the way or dealing with people in a new manner is what they're telling me. Dealing with people in a new manner. Either way, not, not, you don't have a whole lot of loss here. It might feel like that cancer, but you don't have a whole lot of loss, okay? You got something to work with when you're planting these new seeds. Any other messages for cancer? Regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for cancer? Fool in reverse, ew. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. You're afraid to invest. Because of what, um... Because your expectations didn't come to fruition, you might even try to manifest something and it didn't come to fruition the way you expected to. You're kind of afraid to, to plant new seeds. You're afraid to plant new seeds. Like, well, that didn't work out. So how can I expect this to work out? You got to have faith, Cancer. Any messages for Cancer? An investment can be anything, guys. Anything. It could be investing time into a person, a project, a career, a situation, a household. It could be investing money energy resources just take it as it resonates Ooh, damn talk, talk about resistance death in reverse scorpionic energy like i said it's going to be kind of a process a bit of a death-like process it's funny because i i did the um where are my words <laughs> i did the live on patreon for the uh for the new moon eclipse I, on patreon i do spreads i pull spreads for the new moon and full moons and we had a really really crazy intense uh couple of spreads there relating to the death process energy that a lot of us are going to be feeling for the next couple months on some level but cancer like i said you're going to be feeling it a lot because of that full moon in cancer which is the lunar eclipse in january um but this is coming out of it you're coming out of that process here this is the birth por birth portion excuse me, birth portion. While you're in this process, you will be feeling this fear, but you'll work through it and you're going to be integrating your shadow side as a part of that. Any messages for cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019? The magician. What did I say? Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini. It could also be Aquarius, Scorpio. For me as a reader, divine masculine energy. You're ready to come out of this birthing, pro this birth portion of the death process, coming into the new, ready to manifest, ready to get back to work, ready to get creating, ready to, ready to just hit the ground running. But you still got that fear. You want to create. You want to invest. And like I said, most of the fear you're going to be feeling is in the process, in the death process. When you come out of it, I feel like most of your fear will dissipate. Some of you might still feel held back. Any other messages for cancer? Any other messages for cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any other messages for cancer? Any other messages for cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019? So I got one other card out. Oh, two other cards. 
Ooh, Cancer. Two eights next to each other, though. Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Again, it's that weird resistance. So the, the we have six cards in total. The middle is that your whole process. Your whole process that I really recommend you spend in, in a sacred space. On either side, look at what you got. You're coming into this process not happy with the way an investment turned out. You're going to come out of this process ready to plant new seeds, not completely starting over from ground zero, not completely, but you still got a little fear there. And then we also have the Eight of Wands in a verse, the Eight of Pentacles in a verse. You're not sure where to put your investment. You know you want to plant new seeds, but you're really not sure how to go about it. You're letting what happened in the past hold you back. You can't, like, you can't do that. <laughs> not that you can't do that. Obviously, you can, but don't let the past shit affect your future and your present because it's the past it's the past for a reason right but that's what this is being held up because you're not sure where to put your efforts okay overall energy we do have two of pentacles in reverse capricorn energy underneath that we've ooh, oopsie devil in reverse more capricorn energy you're trying to like unleash yourself you want to unleash yourself but like i said you're holding back because of how an investment did not pan out it didn't pan out learn from it like right this is the epitome of just like the learning process, the way we learn and grow is by making mistakes, like mistakes. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. If we get it right every time, we're not growing a whole lot. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It takes falling down and falling off the horse to learn to build character. It truly does. Like it truly does. That's why things go wrong. I know, can't do quotes while holding these cards. See, I just dropped them. King, things can't go like things go wrong. And I say wrong because it's like it's not really wrong. It's a learning lesson. So take the lessons learned from the investment that didn't pan out the way you expected. It didn't pan out because it wasn't supposed to. It wasn't supposed to, whatever the investment was or will be, because some of you, this is a little far off. We're all in different energy. We work through energy differently. Um, just learn from it. Learn from it, accept it, and then just let it go. And just let it go. But let's break down these energies a little bit. Let's look at the seven of pentacles. A lot of energy going on in that one card. Yeah, do cosmic. Time of seven of pentacles. Time of seven of pentacles for cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019. Time of seven of pentacles for cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019. Pentacles for Cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019. Let's see here. Nine of Wands, that wounded warrior energy, Sag energy. Like I said, you're defensive, but the same, you're you're a little conflicted here, Cancer, because on one hand, you're wounded and you're tired and exhausted from something not working out the way you expected to. And you're a little guarded from that as well. But at the same time, you have a lot of desire to plant new seeds, but you're wounded. You're wounded. So I know Seven of Pentacles. For some of you, it is a, just an ego hit. And you're going to be working through that in this process. So I know the Seven of Pentacles. Yep. Judgment. You're feeling a little conflicted on where to go, on where you're supposed to go. Yeah, there's that confusion I was sensing. Yeah, some of you are just confused on what the right judgment is for you, on the what the right path is for you. And if you're still on the right path, like, well, I thought I was, but then that didn't work out. So was I wrong? Do I have to make a huge 180? Do I just have to make a little shift? Don't overthink it, Cancer. It just didn't work out because it wasn't supposed to. You're just supposed to learn from it. You're just supposed to learn from it. If you ground yourself, go to your sacred space, go through this process and stay connected to your higher self, you'll know what to do. You'll know what to do. So more with the Seven of Pentacles. Then more with the Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, Princess of Cups in reverse, Page of Cups in reverse. Um, mm, I'm getting dishonesty from this. You might have been dealing with someone who is very emotionally mature. Oh, Cancer, this is not a judgment at all. I'm just, this is just what I'm getting. Some of you might have looked at something or invested in something in a bit of a naive manner. Okay, in a bit of a naive manner. And you're learning from that. <clears throat> so I'm over the Seven of Pentacles. 
You could have, yeah, you could have been dealing with someone who was dishonest. You could have invested in a dishonest person. And that's really holding you up from investing in, in something else, in something new. Time of Seven of Pentacles for Cancer for the rest of 2019. Let's see here. Yep, and then there it is. This is what you want to do. You want to take action. You want to. King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. You want to take action and invest in new seeds, but you are holding yourself back a little bit. Overall energy for the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles. A brand new start, a new path. But like I said, you're at the seven though. So you're not completely starting over. You've got some resources here. It's just a it's just a reevaluation. Like shit, that didn't work out, but I'm still where I am. So let me just go this way, right? It's that kind of energy. But you are holding back a little bit. You're definitely holding back. And it's fear-based. It's fear-based. So let's go to your process. <laughs> Don't be worried, Cancer. You're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. Um, but yeah, let's, 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 let's look at this. Let's look at this. I'm like, God, I kind of want to look at both cards, but I don't feel like that's necessary. Let's look at Magician. No, Death. <laughs> Changed my mind. Let's look at Death in Reverse. Use Radiant Wise for this one. This one at Death in Reverse. Keep in mind, Cancer, this could be someone in your environment. It can be vice versa. How about Death in Reverse for Cancer regarding love versus 2019? Talking about death in reverse for cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019. Talking about this process for cancer. Wow, yeah, see, cancer, look at that. Just exactly what I've been saying. Breaking into the new, the full, the full, zero point. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card and the four ones in reverse, Aries energy. You gotta, you can't be afraid to break away from what doesn't serve you anymore, from what's already fallen apart. Okay, with the four ones in reverse, it's the investment that didn't work out, whatever that investment was. It's okay to come out of this death process into the new and be like, okay, I can let that go. And that is the past and it will, lo will no longer affect me. Some of you have to make that definitive conscious decision to say, that's the past. It's a lesson learned and I'm not taking it with me moving forward because some of you are going to try to take are going to try to move forward and then realize you still have some hang ups about it because you're afraid of that happening again. You got to get rid of that fear by just releasing it and accepting it for what it was. So I have a death in reverse. Let's see here. Ooh, yeah. Five of swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. It was defeating. You should, it, it was defeating. It was defeating. You could have been dealing with an individual who is very low vibrational who like to play mind games, who like manipulate. Yeah, who like to manipulate. Oh, geez. And poke the bear. I just heard poke the bear. Yeah, for some of you that we were just dealing with an individual like that, others of you, you just feel defeated that an investment you really counted on or an investment you really thought was going to work out didn't. And again, it's okay. It's just a lesson learned. Talking about death in So I'm at death in reverse for cancer regarding love for us of 2019. So I'm at death in reverse for cancer. Overall energy. Ooh. Justice in reverse, Libra energy. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. Yeah, you're very, very hesitant. <laughs> Not hesitant, cautious. You're overly cautious with this because you're terrified it's going to happen to you again wherever you're going next or whatever new seeds you want to plant. You're terrified of that. That's why you're moving so slow. That's why you're moving so slow. Um, let's look at Justice in Reverse and see if we get more details on this investment. I really feel like it's very broad. Like it's an investment of time, money, or energy into some kind of foundation. That could be work. That could be a home. That could be a relationship. That could be yourself. Could be a lot of different things. So again, take it as it resonates, but they might be vague, but I still want to try. All right. So no, we'll do OG. OG Lenormand deck. It, oh, by the way, I haven't said this in a while, but if you want any of the decks that I use, they're all linked below. Talking about justice in reverse. So we got the book of knowledge here. I also call it the book of secrets because that is what it is. A uh, Ten of Pentacles energy. So this could be definitely around a family or work situation. Again, it's a long-standing foundation energy here. Let's see what else wants to come out. Talking about justice in reverse. 
yet yeah, just take it as a lesson they keep telling me lesson take it as a lesson how about justice in reverse for cancer oh we've got the tarot card reader the psychic <laughs> i always crack up when those card comes out i don't know why it just does it just does yeah this is hidden knowledge this is like these two cards together, the equivalent of the high priestess, but it's around a 10 of pentacles energy. Okay. So legacy, money, family, homes, foundations, career, inheritance, but it's a high priestess energy. You, you might've feel like your intuition failed you. You might've, you might feel like your intuition guided you down this path and it should have worked out. Sometimes we're guided down paths just so something can fall apart, just so we can learn from it. Cause we need that lesson for something bigger later on. You know what I mean? But so you might feel like your intuition failed you. Tell me about justice in reverse. Tell me about justice in reverse for cancer regarding love for the rest of 2019. Oh, there's the naivety, the child. Uh, with the Knight of uh, Wands here, 13 breaking down to four, stability. Yeah, you feel like you approach an investment in a very naive way. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, I keep like, I trusted my intuition, but I trusted my intuition. I trusted my higher self. Like I said, Cancer, sometimes we have to go down certain paths just to get a lesson. It's not to punish you. It's not to put you in a bad spot. It's not about that. It's about growth and it's about learning. Talk about justice in reverse. Some of you might have trusted a very... um What's the word I'm looking for? Um, someone new to spirituality. So you might have trusted someone who's really, really new to spirituality or new to their gifts, and maybe they might have led you astray. Either way, I really feel like it was so you learned a lesson. Tell me about justice in reverse. Tell me about justice in reverse for Cancer for the rest of 2019. Got two more cards here. Wow. I actually think this is beautiful energy. We have the sickle with the anchor. The card, the deck calls it something else, but I can never remember the name of it. Uh, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, which you do have here with the Nine of Swords. Uh, this is basically cutting away the anchor, cutting away something that was holding you back. Cancer, whatever you were investing in, maybe it was because you took a naive approach and maybe the naivety you had or like that. And I don't want to use the word immature, but it kind of is that and I'm not being judgmental here. It's just a childlike sense of like, I can do anything, right? that wasn't totally serving you that could have been holding you back here if you were investing in a relationship or maybe it was an investment that was good you know for some of you it was an investment that was going to go way way left way left and it was going to hold you back it was going to make you sink but with this energy it's basically saying you were set free you were set free from a sinking ship okay overall energy we do have um garden <laughs> It's like I always I always say public because it is a public card. It's a card of community with the eight of swords. And then we have the man with the ace of cups here. You might have felt embarrassed. You might a male energy felt embarrassed. Could also be a female, but it's masculine energy. Okay, so just take it as a resonance. It's a very general reading. Um, but it's like a male within the community could also be public eye is embarrassed. Yeah, interesting. And then we have the moon underneath that with the eight of cups. Having to really leave something behind that that someone invested a lot in. I feel like this male invested a lot. I feel like the male's the investor here. Like when I say male, sorry, masculine energy. Masculine energy. Could apply to my females. But a very masculine energy really invested a lot. And it does feel career related for the most part. The moon can also be like currency. It's not just like emotions. But there is a there's a community energy about this person. Okay. Whether it's a family situation, like family money, family home. Because that could be that energy too. Family business or effect or just public or just public. And I, I'm feeling embarrassment. I'm feeling embarrassment with that. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, keep it going. Let's keep it going. So then we have the, I really do want to plant new seeds. I just don't know where or how to. <laughs> just don't know where or how to. So there is a bit of a slow down here. So just go through your process in your sacred space, Cancer. It's really going to serve you well. But let's go ahead and look at this. Let's look at the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm going to use Gilded for this one. Okay. Let's go with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. 
So I have an Eight of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love. For the rest of 2019. So I have Eight of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love. For the rest of 2019. Sorry, I thought I felt a little earthquake. <laughs> Do I have Eight of Pentacles in reverse? It's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Do I have Eight of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer? Regarding love for the rest of 2019. Talking about Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the Tower. Scorpionic energy could also be um, Aries because it's Mars. So yeah, it's a tower moment for sure. It's most definitely a tower moment. I feel like once the investment turns or the investment doesn't come, it doesn't bring you the fruits of their labor that you thought you thought you'd ex thought you'd reap. I keep feeling like I'm feeling earthquakes. Am I crazy? No, the blinds aren't moving. That's weird. That felt really weird. Anyway, refocusing here. Um that will be a tower moment and then as you're doing doing this death process also indicative of a tower moment and then you're coming into the point where it's like okay I, I got the new and I can plant my seed somewhere I just don't know where to go that's just a hard time but yeah you're gonna be in a little bit of tower energy don't be afraid of tower energy it's just change that's all it is it's just change it's transformation it's beautiful energy you're gonna get new shit at the end of it it's beautiful energy talking about eight of pentacles in reverse Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. What did I say? You're going to get beautiful shit. Yeah, a foundation that you were working towards isn't going to work out, but you know you'll get your Ten of Pentacles. And it's going to be the Ten of Pentacles that is best for you. The The thing you were investing in, I really feel like it was going to go left. I feel like Spirit was doing you a favor to make sure that you were getting on the right track here and not straying too far. And you learned a lesson out of it. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be Earth or um, Fire here. Taking a pause. Yeah, you're going to be in a bit of a pause energy for a while, Cancer, until you figure out how to plant your new seeds. Time about Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh. Three more cards just came out. Time about Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Four more cards. Not four more, but four. Time about Eight of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Wow. Oh, Cancer. Wow. 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 <laughs> uh, wow. We got the King and Queen of Wands, Leo and Aries. Both are fire. King is uh, air and the Queen is water. We have a true pair that came out smack dab next to each other and he is staring at her. And keep in mind, Cancer, the energy I'm tapped into is that King of Wands energy that's going through all of this. They have their eyes set on the new and it looks like there's a person there. Definitely looks like there's a person. Um, Cancer, I do feel like this is most likely relationship reading for a lot of you, okay? Um, this is a true pair. This is a true match. And they demanded to come out together, both upright. You already know where you want to put your new seeds. You're holding back out of fear. Wow. My king of wands, you're holding back out of fear. And then we have nine of pentacles energy, Virgo, with the king of swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. I'm not loving this energy, to be honest with you. Um... This is a very, con oh, because this is your confusion. That's why. Thank you, Spirit. Because this is your confusion, okay? With the King of Swords in reverse, it's not really thinking clearly about um, about stability, about financial independence here. Yeah, a lot of you, this is about, <laughs> Jesus, it's relationship wrapped up in finances. So some of you, this could be leaving a relationship that what you were living together, you were married, or leaving a relationship where there was financial entanglement or financial dependency. Um, it could also be just like purely work. It could purely be work and you just want that that best business partner that's a total match for you. Could definitely just be that. So again, take it as it resonates. But this is a confusion about that. 
confusion on what it's supposed to look like confusion on how to have that but at the end of the day you're not that confused because you know you know you know i mean it's right here it's right here you know overall energy eight of cups in reverse piscean energy and then we've got the ace of pentacles you know you're just not going you're just not walking forward because you're afraid by the way three eights very auspicious for success and abundance you know which you know you know where you want to plant your new seeds you're just afraid of how it's going to work out because the last investment didn't work out so well it, it didn't work out when you thought that it was supposed to when your intuition when your intuition said go this way it will work and then it didn't work and then you were like what the fuck and then you go into this whole process and integrating your shadow a little bit of a death process there as well trying to really trust your intuition again in your own discernment and then you come out the other side you're ready for the new and then it's like well shit i see my new i see this queen of wands i see them but i'm afraid well I don't want to say it's a no-brainer cancer <laughs> i don't want to say that and keep in mind guys i mean you could like my females could be the king you know it's just energy we all have masculine feminine energy i say that all the time so again take it as it resonates but um it, it seems like a no-brainer cancer so it's going to be up to you and how you want to deal with this but it seems like you're going to go through your process fairly smoothly it's just when you come out the other side you're still kind of afraid you're still kind of afraid there so just just be mindful that you already know you already know and that whatever happened in the past is the past this is a different situation this is a different person right that you're dealing with in business or love or both so just know that okay all right so let's pull some goddess cards so my gods you can use these energies too of course this is just to see what energies will benefit you guys what energies will benefit my cancers regarding this spread? What energies will benefit my cancers regarding this spread? What energies will benefit my cancers regarding this spread? What energies will benefit my cancers regarding this spread? What energies will benefit my can't jeez <laughs> that wants to talk so bad less cards less cards please what energies will benefit my cancers regarding this spread what energies will benefit my cancers oh etiquette i think that's how you say that blossoming you are just getting started so have patience with yourself in the process don't give up been telling you this whole reading you're going to be in a new energy you will after this process it's gonna be hard it's gonna suck excuse me it's gonna be heavy but don't give up your faith i was saying that like in the beginning so many times don't give up your faith you have your new seeds right in front of you and it's with a true batch in love or business like this, this these two right here that's a total alpha couple okay total power couple right there again business or love decide what it is for you What other energies would be beneficial for my cancers to harness regarding this spread? Jesus, okay. We have, ooh, Mother Earth, Mawu. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. Ooh, okay, okay. Some of you guys might be heading that way as an investment. That's not gonna be for everybody, for sure. These three cards came out, but they don't feel right. They're telling me to take them. They're telling me to take them. God, you guys got a lot of advice. We have Bridget, don't back down. Oh, Guinevere, true love. And Diana, focused intention. All right, I'll take them. Guys, it's a lot of advice, and I always like to read the descriptions for these, so I'm just giving you guys a heads up. It's a lot. It's five cards. <laughs> it's five. And I usually like to take the overall as well. What other energies will benefit my cancers regarding this spread? Wow, and then we have Kuan Yin, compassion. I feel like compassion towards yourself, Cancer. To be gentle with yourself. Oh, that motherly energy that I was sensing. 
to nurture yourself, to heal yourself. Give your amazing yummy cancer waters to yourself in this process. And as you come out the other side, you won't be as fearful. Do not let the past hold you back, okay? Release, oh, release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Wow. Okay, so I am going to read all these. <laughs> I am going to read all these. You got your popcorn? <laughs> Where's my goddess book? Okay, there it is. Wow. Just wow. All right. So Erakura is first. I think that's how you pronounce it. I apologize if I don't pronounce these properly. Blossoming. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself in the process. Do not give up. In many ways, you're like a flower bud who is ripe and ready to open and grow. Don't try to rush this process as it's part of your beautiful path. Just do the process, Cancer. Take it as you need to, okay? Um, Where'd I go? Oh yeah, enjoy learning new knowledge and skills. Take your time to gather new ideas. Nurture your body with plenty of fresh air, sunshine, water, and healthful food. Soon enough, you'll get the unmistakable signal that it's your time to put your learning into action. Spend time among flowers and work with flower essences and oils to support your growth process. Slow down. Have patience. Get involved with gardening. Use aromatherapy and our flower essences and keep the faith. I'm just going to skip the history of the goddesses just for the sake of time because I got so many cards for you guys. But yeah, Cancer, just don't give up. Be gentle with yourself, especially these two cards together. Be very gentle with yourself. Be compassionate to yourself. Heal yourself, okay? Let's see, Bridget's next. Don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. First, be quite clear about your intentions. If you're unclear, then focus will, then focus will lessen your power and confusion. Wow, that's, whoa. Then confusion will lessen your power and force. Like a candle in the dark, be very clear and bright in what is acceptable to you in the situation. Make no mistake, I will guide and protect you and yet think of the unparalleled rise in your own viewpoint if you are to stand up for yourself and speak up about your needs and your deepest truth. Now is the time to touch your power for its heat and flame will ignite your passion, which will propel you forward in, in countless ways. Even in the face of fear, you can still stand up for your ideals and your truth. Be unwavering and make your stand today. Be assertive. Don't worry about what others think trust that your actions will work out fine speak your truth stick to your opinions put your foot down yeah cancer you already know you already know where your, your new seeds should be planted because you already see them you already see it you already see it you're just letting fear hold you back don't let it d diana okay focused intention Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark. Tenacity means sticking to a decision and not allowing outside forces to sway you. Imagine, your, do not let that fear affect you, Cancer. Imagine yourself to be a mighty oak tree with your roots deeply planted into Mother Earth. Feel your solid, yeah, this is about grounding. Feel your solid strength and steady upward growth. Know that no matter what happens, you will succeed. Your branches may twist and turn as you flex toward the light. Yet your unwavering intentions will ensure that no faint, no faint wind will sway you from your mission. Be in charge of your body, your schedule, your mind, and keep them focused on your target. Stay positive. Know what your, what your priorities are and take action on them. Take control of your schedule. Release all doubts. I'm going to let go of that fear. I know it's not like a broken record. Avoid naysayers and skeptics. You know what to do, Cancer. You know what to do. Ooh, Guinevere is next. Why can't I find, there we go. Guinevere, true love. The romantic strings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Some of y'all is a love reading and your perfect pair or perfect match is like right there. Just can't let fear stop you. <clears throat> Romance is not an unmo unmo outmoded concept. <laughs> I can't speak. <laughs> outmoded concept, far from it. Romance is the time-honored per... Jesus. Precept of merging with the divine as it's manifest within another human being. Romance is also playfulness, which heralds springtime flowers and new life. You needn't be in, in a partnership to evoke romance, however. You can manifest it for yourself through laughter, surrounding yourself with beauty, and indulging in luxurious treats. Romance is the life force of the universe and is a worthwhile goal indeed. Your soulmate relationship has arrived or is soon arriving. There is renewed passion in an existing relationship. You're a very romantic person. Your romantic needs are being met and you must take steps to alleviate this. <clears throat> uh, interesting. 
So yeah, cancers, like I said, some of you is just your perfect match. And after this healing process, which is very much needed, you're also going to be, you're also going to have taken lessons from your bad investment or the investment that went left into this. It made you, it's prepared you for this. 44, 44, I'm going to look down at the camera. It prepared you for this. Okay. All right. Kuan Yin. Compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Gentleness is the strength behind true power and it comes from feeding yourself with nourishing words, thoughts, deeds, intentions, and all forms of food. Shield yourself from harshness by placing an intention to attract only kind and gentle life lessons and relationships. Transform harshness into gentleness by refusing to see anything uh, but the shining light that's within each person and situation. This intention begins with your relationship with yourself. Be very gentle with yourself in all ways. Be happy, be kind, be sweet, but most of all, be true to you. Release guilt. Oh, some of you that that investment was not aligned with your highest good or your higher self. That's They just told me that. Some of you wasn't aligned with your higher self. That's also another reason it didn't pan out. <clears throat> Release guilt and shame to heaven for healing and transmutation. The major process you're going through. Keep your thoughts about yourself and others positive. Avoid gossip or bad mouthing of yourself and others. Forgive yourself or another. Don't be so hard on yourself or others. Release perfectionistic tendencies. I didn't feel perfectionism in here. But if you know that that's an issue for you, you know that's an issue for you. It, like, it, it gave me the chills when I read it, but I didn't feel it during the reading. So I, I guess I just want to make that point because some of you might really needed to hear might have needed to really hear that <laughs> last one. Oh, it might make a second video i'm going to try to catch it so that you guys don't miss any of the words but i'll try mawu mother earth you are called upon to help with environmentalism there's no greater cause than the giving back to your mother and rekindling a friendship with the soil air and water the earth is the life force for material life and there's no sense in continuing a downward spiral of dirtying the planet with further pollution. There it goes. Your contribution is necessary, no matter what, how small. You make a huge difference in this planet's welfare through small and simple changes in how you operate. It's worth it, believe me, and I will help you accomplish this goal in all ways. Your life's purpose involves environmentalism. Use earth-friendly products, recycle. Get involved with an environmental group. Teach others about environmentalism. That one's very clear. Get in touch with Mother Earth or or practice better green habits. And there are a lot of ways to do that. Actually, I should do videos on that. It's been too like two years of my life studying it. I guess I should probably do some videos on it. But there are a lot of ways you can do that. A lot of ways you can do that. Okay. All right. Let's do the spirit animal deck for advice. And then we'll wrap this up. Although we've got a lot of advice. So well, let's keep it going. Let's do it. Let's do it. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? 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 Any advice for my cancers? Let's see. We've got two cards here. Wow. <laughs> Frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. That's a death process. And starfish spirit. Open to infinite possibilities. When you come out of this process, Cancer, there are going to be so many doors opening for you. And there are a lot of different ways you can go about it. You can plant your seeds in a lot of different ways, but you already know who or what to do to Jesus. Who to plant your new seeds with? Okay, this Queen of Wands, like I said, it could just be business. It doesn't have to be romance here. But a lot of doors can open for you, but you can't be afraid to jump in. Frog, no pun intended. You can't be afraid to jump into that, okay? Just because something didn't work out in the past. <clears throat> Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? 
Any other advice for my cancers? Any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Got two more cards. Oh, three more cards. Any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Let's see. What do we got here? Ooh, ooh, nice. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. Then we have the owl spirit, you see clearly now. And then we have a seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. 33, a master number, 43. Um, breaking down to a seven, so being on your path, being guided on your path. And then we have 35, no, 53. I'm really blind. Sorry, guys. 53, bringing on to an eight. Again, auspicious. You had three eights come out in your reading back to back to back. Very, very auspicious for, for success. Okay. Um, I love that it's 33, 43, 53. I love that. I freaking love that. I feel like that's just major fucking progression. Yeah, Cancer, if you don't allow your allow fear to hold you back, if you just jump in there, you're going to be amazed at your rewards, okay? You're going to feel free. I feel like you're going to really rise. You're going to really soar here. And Owl Spirit, your intuition is going to be really on point as well. You already know. I keep I keep getting that, Cancer. You already know. You already know, okay? This watch and wait energy, I do feel like is a very seven of pentacles kind of energy where it's like you are evaluating your, your investments and where to plant your seeds. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and there's nothing wrong with taking your time, especially as you go through this death process. But I would just advise that to make some kind of decision at some point. You know, you don't want to sit in it. You want to be actively processing while you're taking this time out. You know what I mean? Overall, you ready for this? Yeah. A rebirth is assured, Cancer. I don't even I don't even got to clear this one, clarify this one for you. I don't even have to explain it. You already know what this is about. You are going through a death process or what most people would consider to be a death process. And you're going to have new opportunities. You're going to have a new path. You're going to have a new investment. And whatever didn't work out before, it just didn't work out before because it wasn't supposed to. And that's it. That's it. So enjoy it. Enjoy the new. And don't let fear hold you back. Okay? All right, Cancers. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram. And I will see you guys later. Have a really great rest of your year and a really great holiday season. Namaste.